We will now move on to a very special award from the League of Women Voters. To present that award, here is Miss Sue Schultz. Thank you, and I thought our video was going to show, but maybe it's not. But anyway, my name is Sue Schultz. I'm president of the League of Women Voters of Polk County, and this is our second year of sponsoring a Project Vote video contest. And here to present the awards, where she go, is Salma Naumo. Good evening, everyone. Some of you might ask, what or who are these people in the League of Women Voters? Let me read you the mission statement. The League of Women Voters is a nonpartisan political organization that encourages the informed and active participation of citizens in government. It works to increase the understanding of major public policy issues and it influences public policy through education and advocacy. For those of you that didn't understand that, we're awesome. <laughs> but on a serious note, and more in layman's terms, I want to let you all know that you are here today because your purpose is to make a difference. And I'm speaking to all the young people here and their parents and their teachers. As the future leaders of tomorrow, the League of Women Voters of Polk County encourages all of you to help us help you make a difference, that very difference that you want to make right now. We aren't just a group of suffragettes anymore trying to earn the right to vote. We earn that already. Right now, we are a group of men and women, young and old, collaborating together to make this world a better place. We thank you all and we urge you to continue doing what you do best as young people, you fight for the right to change what isn't right. Hashtag, you're awesome. <laughs> so as such, we're very proud to present the second year in a row the awards that demonstrate your awesomeness and your ability to show your point of view through your camera lens. The award of third place for contest vote 2015 goes to Emily Lungmus from Lakeland High School. Congratulations. Very good, thank you Emily. Second place goes to Tashima McComber, Alexandria Polingo, and Sharifa Richardson from Tenorock High School. Yeah, the amount? No, I'm just going to say the other ones who wrote a song. And this video included an original song, so we were very impressed with that. can be seen on the League of Women Voters website. Like us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and everywhere. <laughs> First place, Alyssa Garber and participants from Winter Haven High School. <laughs> for things that don't even pertain to me. It makes me mad that the state and federal governments are making higher education unobtainable. I'm tired of being defined by my test scores. I'm mad that they say the economy is getting better when I still can't find a job. I'm tired of minimum wage staying the same even though inflation's rising. I'm mad there's no such thing as equal pay. For every dollar a man makes, I only make 77 cents. I'm tired of politicians saying one thing and doing another. I'm mad that I have to worry about whether or not the person sitting next to me has a gun in his backpack. 
I'm tired of being told to get along with others and compromise, yet the Republicans and Democrats don't get along and definitely don't compromise. Are you tired of the way things are being done? Does it make you mad when things aren't fair? If you answered yes and are a U.S. citizen 18 or older, you need to register and vote. If you're 16 or 17, you can pre-register. It's easy. It's really easy. It's so easy. Did you know in the 2014 election, only 22% of the people 18 to 29 voted? If you don't vote, you have no right to complain. Don't give up your right to make a change. Make your voice heard. Vote. 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 You should vote. 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 We hope to be back next year and hope to have so many to choose from that we will have even more trouble than we did this year. So thank you all.